everyone and welcome to Jefferson Parish Library's virtual story time. I'm Miss Jennifer and this week we're going to be celebrating the letter Y and Y is for yellow. Let's start with a good morning song. Hi, hello and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello and how are you? How are you today? Very good. What an awesome morning song to start with. The first book we're going to read today is The Hidden Rainbow with permission from HarperCollins. The Hidden Rainbow by Christy Matheson. One little bee peeks out to see a world of gray and snow. She's looking for bright colors and she needs you to help them grow. First, Please brush the snow off the budding camellia trees. Can you brush? Brush, 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 brush. Ooh, look, the flowers are red and their nectar feeds two bees. Tickle the very tops of the growing tulip leaves. Very soon, the bees will find orange. And can you see three bees? Next, point to the crocus shoots just beginning to sprout. Can you find them? Four bees are eating pollen. Now that yellow has come out. Now it's time to search for a special four-leaf clover. Can you find the four-leaf clover? What luck, a field of green with five bees zooming over. Please wave the bees back to their hive. Clouds are starting to gather for a shower. Can you wave the bees back? The bees don't like the rain but it's important for the flowers. Blow the forget-me-not buds dry as the rain clears from the sky. The sun is shining, blue is blooming, and six bees are buzzing by. Next, trace a line straight down the orderly hyacinth row. Seven bees are foraging in blooms of indigo. You're practically done. Now blow a kiss to the lovely lilac trees. The violet blossoms are brimming with nectar for eight bees. At last, get ready to find nine bees on the rainbow you grew. But the story is not over. These bees have work to do. Can you see 10 humming bees getting busy in the trees? They're spreading so much pollen, you just might have to. <gasps> Achoo! And why are the bees spreading pollen? So something you eat can grow. Thanks to the bees, soon you'll have your own delicious rainbow. And that's the end. How about we sing a song now? I think we should sing a song about bees. Do you have your baby bumblebee? Do you have it in your hand? Ready? So we're gonna sing a song about a bumblebee today. I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm bringing home a baby bumblebee. <gasps> Ouch! It stung me. I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm squishing up the baby bumblebee. Ew, it's yucky. I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Won't my mommy be so proud of me? I'm wiping off the baby bumblebee. Now my mommy won't be mad at me. Very good, thank you for singing along. The next book we're going to read is Blue Versus Yellow with permission from HarperCollins. Blue Versus Yellow by Tom Sullivan. Have you heard the news? Blue is the best color. It's the color of crabs and the moon and first place blue ribbons. Nice try, but everyone knows that yellow is the best color. It's the color of school buses and giraffes and daisies. 
Look up and see for yourself. Blue is the color of the whole sky. That's funny. All I see is a bright yellow sun. Well, blue is the only color that has its own music. Sure, but the instruments are yellow. And if you're blue, it means you're sad. So what if you're yellow, it means you're a scaredy cat. Speaking of cats, the fastest animal in the world is yellow. But the biggest animal in the world is blue. And to top it off, all the best food is blue, like popsicles, blueberries, and cotton candy. I'm not sure I'd even consider most of that food. Yellow food is much better, like cheese and lemonade and bananas. Plus there are yellow birds, bugs, bikes, and all sorts of things. Those can all be blue too. Well, the coolest cars are yellow. Don't forget about big blue trucks. Oh no, boom! Whoa, what happened? We're green. Wow, look at all the cool stuff we can both be. Okay, truce. Blue and yellow are the best together. Stop. Um, excuse me. I think everyone can agree. Red is the best color of all time. Hands down to infinity. It's the color of cherries and fire engines and wagons. Blue versus yellow versus red. The end. Thanks for listening to our stories today. All of our libraries are back to their regular operating hours. So if you'd like to read more books about why or yellow things or anything else, you're more than welcome to come check us out at the Jefferson Parish Library. And if you'd like to make a craft to go along with this week's story time, the link to this little bee craft is in the video. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's sing our goodbye song now. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon, see you soon, see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, we'll see you soon on another day. Bye-bye now. <laughs>